Yeah, that's right, Preston. You may not be able to actually see the ship from the outside looking into the port of Everett. We tried doing that ourselves today, but there's still a slim chance you may be able to catch the USX-1 Defiant as it mulls around the Puget Sound here uh, until it leaves sometime in the near future. We don't have a date on that just yet, but if you do see it on the water, don't be offended if no one waves back to you because, well, there's no one on board. Its name, the USX-1 Defiant. It's the first fully autonomous naval vessel ever built. A fitting title for a ship that developers say could revolutionize naval engineering for years to come. Autonomy really means they're able to sail safely without humans on board. They're able to operate with humans on board. Defiant is the culmination of five years of work by the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, or DARPA. The ship would carry cargo or even be equipped with weapons, but DARPA says it would always be supervised by a crew never operating weaponry on its own. We still have destroyers. Destroyers are still doing their job. But now the destroyers have a bunch of these operating in conjunction with those destroyers. It takes away the safety risks of having personnel on board the ships, and it also drastically reduces the cost and the size of a typical ship. It's also quicker to build, with the Nichols Brothers boat builders and Everett Ship Repair lending a key hand in that process. So the big contribution Nichols made was literally putting the hull together and, and the piping and the electrical that runs through the hull. And again, for as as how much a cost like that one would uh, a ship like that would cost, excuse me, given the advanced technology clearly within it, the developers said it was a part of a larger development and research budget. And then also, of course, it's still a prototype, so they couldn't really stick a price tag on that just yet. In the meantime, Defiant still has one more big hurdle, which is a long form voyage out on the open seas facing all different kinds of conditions to really prove it can operate on its own before heading to the Navy. Live here in Everett, Tyler Cunnington, Como News. All right.